What's up, you guys? This is Karmic and Dane Santan, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel. All right, these current ancestor messages for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me on the channel. I do appreciate you guys for all the love and the support, all right? And all of the other information about me will be down below in the description box with the links available, you guys. All right, so let's get into it and see what is going on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Sweet success. All right, period. Duality. Do not forget about the dual nature of people. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're going to have some kind of sweet success. It's not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy. So for some of you guys, you're going to realize that something is easier. I'm hearing like worrying over nothing so for some of y'all you could have been very concerned about a situation but you're gonna realize that there's another way to get something done yeah i feel like that you're gonna partner up with somebody here all right you're gonna be led to partner up with somebody to get something done and it's gonna come out in your favor here all right is what i'm seeing so you're gonna be like giving some kind of help here all right is what i feel yep what does the ancestors want you to know for all the other messages what are the other messages ancestors of the highest good all right we got the seven of pentacles all right we got free man so that's giving me like pocket watching energy okay how she looking in that picture <laughs> All right, yeah, somebody going through bad judgment in your energy, the big house in the reverse. Yeah, but somebody just getting back what they put out, that's all. Somebody's going through some very bad judgment, but this is giving me like pocket watch energy. This could be somebody pocket watching you because they going through bad judgment with they shit. And somebody is watching you like gain is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody trying to keep a tower from falling because of the manipulation they did. But I'm seeing that it's getting real heavy for this person. It's getting real heavy for them. Something to do with a Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Taurus. Like it's getting real heavy for somebody. All right. And it's like your ancestors caught this person. That's why I'm hearing somebody, your ancestors saying we caught them. We caught them. That's what I heard. We caught them. That's exactly what I just heard. Yeah, that will not turn. Yeah, that will not turn, collective. They have been caught. That's what I heard. <laughs> Somebody that thought that they wasn't going to get caught, they caught up now. Yep, trying to focus on your shit so much. They ain't, they now they losing their shit. How about that? <laughs> Focusing so much on somebody else's shit, your shit falling apart. Current energy. Yeah, have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams is what I'm hearing because something is going to be some sweet-ass success. Yeah, trust in the unknown. Somebody don't want you to trust in the unknown. Yeah. They don't want you to. Yeah, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Yeah, it's time to take action. All right. Let go of the need to be right. And we have step out your comfort zone. Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay. Prosperity lies ahead, not behind you. Okay. For some of y'all, will step out your comfort zone. There could be a new romantic cycle. That you starting with somebody and whoever this person is that you're getting with you could be stepping out your comfort zone when it comes to this person in some shape or form this could have something to do with a taurus an aries or a libra 
So it's like for some of y'all, you could be getting into a situation where it's like you stepping out your comfort zone to like be with this person, okay, or something like that. But this is going to be a very like prosperous connection. Okay, it's going to be very prosperous, very grounded, very fruitful. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Yep. That's what I'm hearing. So that's great energy collective shit. <laughs> that's great energy collective. New romantic cycle. What else, spirit? Current energy. Lightning bolt. Something happening very quickly. Yep. You got something coming in happening very, very quickly, yo. Yeah, and it's going to be a wish fulfillment, too. Yep. Something to do with 58 or 85. Something to do with August or May. All right, we have the bird's nest. And we have encrusted moon. Okay, putting in the hard work and the dedication. So because you've been putting in the hard work and different things like that, I feel like that that's what's bringing in this wish fulfillment. Okay, hard work can mean physical. Okay, for some of y'all, this is just work that you've been doing on yourself. Okay, this is work that you've been doing on yourself. And I feel like that this is the reason why you're getting something. Okay, because of the work that you put in yourself. My foot tattoo itching, y'all. Ooh, I hate this part of the tattoo. It be itching. <laughs> ah. But yeah, so that's what I'm getting. A lot of wish fulfillments in a situation come in together because you put in the hard work and dedication. Okay? Some, I'm hearing things are going to be happening very quickly for you, collective. All right, something to do with a, a Libra, a Aries, a Taurus, strong Taurus, Pisces, or a Gemini, or a Leo. Okay. Yeah, we have cleverness. If you have been going through difficult times, it is time to think outside the box to find a solution. This is also a reminder to avoid neglecting your creative side. If you have, <coughs> excuse me, if you have let creative projects lapse it may be time to pick them back up again okay so for some of y'all you're gonna be led to do something again to bring something back in balance okay so something that you're gonna do that's very clever but it's gonna bring something back in balance for you all right it's, it's gonna be some sweet ass success okay for some of y'all this could be you teaming up with your an a certain ancestor this could be you teaming up with a certain ancestor or an entity or something like that to give you some kind of sweet success in your situation to help balance you out. Okay? So, that's great ass energy. Shit. Oh, oh. What the hell? My purse. Damn. Purse fell. That's all right. Yeah, this great energy collective. Current energy. Yeah, visitation and personality. All right, so your past on loved ones is going to be visiting you. Yeah. For some of y'all, this is somebody you was married to. Okay, so if you had somebody that you was married to and they passed away this person is going to be visiting you this person could have been very funny somebody could have loved making you laugh somebody could have even been in like a comedian this person is like going to be coming in your energy and this person is going to be encouraging you to shine okay for some of y'all that could be like a project that you could be led to that you're going to be led to pick back up and take more serious i'm hearing especially if you know that it's it's, it's like a project that you could have left behind but it's like you're going to be led to pick it back up. 
Yeah, for some of y'all, if this is like something you left behind and you're going to be led to pick it back up, I feel like this time you may partner up with somebody or you may be led to partner up with somebody that may help something take off faster or something like that. It's like you're going to be given some kind of guidance when you step back into whatever this is. Okay, is what I'm seeing. For some of y'all, this is like a partnership or something. Okay. Yep. And this partnership I'm hearing, yeah, this partnership is the fucking truth. Yes, it is. Yep, yep, yep. So for some of y'all, this could be a partnership. This could be connected to your new romance. I feel like that this will be stepping out your comfort zone, but it's going to be wish fulfillment. Okay. Sometimes stepping out your comfort zone is what you need to get a wish fulfillment, okay, in a situation. Current energy. Yeah, we got bad reputation. So somebody in your energy that has a bad reputation got love on the brain. <laughs> Let's see. Current energy. Yeah. Yeah. For some of y'all, that could have been a wolf in sheep's clothing that's always partying that you're going to find out about. So your ancestors is going to enlighten you on somebody that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person could do a lot of partying and shit, but they could front like they don't or something. This person, you're going to be enlightened about this person here. So let's see. Give me energy on this person's spirit. For some of y'all, you can have a home with this person. Or or I'm hearing you're looking to be with this person or something. But hold on, let's see now. What's going on, spirit? Ancestors of the highest good. What's going on with this? Energy for the collective. Hell yeah, look at this shit. The Hierophant and the King of Wands. Okay. I just feel like that somebody somebody could look at somebody as like like they want to be with them or something like that but this person is they they a wolf in sheep's clothing and somebody figuring that out yeah and they going cold on this person hell yeah somebody is going cold on somebody that's a wolf in sheep's clothing yeah and they happy to do it too this could be a family member Okay, for some of y'all, this could be a sibling or this could be somebody that you have a family with. But it's like somebody is like a wolf in sheep's clothing in your energy. They got a bad reputation and everything. Okay, this could be like a leech energy. This person's like a leech. Okay, leech vibes. For some of y'all, this is a sibling. All right, this sibling could be married. Okay, have a family or something. Or you could consider this person like family. All right. But this person, it's like they are wolf in sheep's clothing. All right. It's like somebody, I'm here for some of y'all. It's like you be helping this, this person out. This person could be married, but you help them out. And it's like this person could spend their money on like addictions and shit. Okay. Like they don't, they're not right or something. They're not right. And for some of y'all. If this is like somebody, like a friend of yours that's married, this person could be married to somebody that you know that's not good for them. But you try to like be there for this person and shit like that. But it's like, for some of y'all, it's like you're going to end the situation. You're just going to totally end it because it's too much drama in the situation or something like that. Okay? Or somebody is just needy as fuck. And you just tired of it. You, you tired of always helping this person. You just tired of it. It's like, what the fuck? Every time I look up, you always partying and shit. Talking about, oh, I ain't got no money or I ain't, I ain't, I don't have this for this bill and all of this, but you got time to go out and party and shake your ass or, and all of that. It's like, make it make sense. You out here crying about how you don't have this and have that. You should be making your nights about making money, not out here, you know, partying and shit. And you the one that's fucked up. You should be out here you know, making money. <laughs> you worrying about the wrong things, yo. Like somebody's priorities is fucked up. 
Okay? Like, all the way fucked up. Like, straight up. Yeah. And it, the wheel is turning in this shit. The wheel is fucking turning. Okay? The wheel has turned. Somebody is getting rejected for a cups. Yep. Because somebody know that somebody is a party. That, you know? Somebody party more than they make money. Yeah. And this King of Pentacles is like, hell no. Nah. That's, that's leech energy. <laughs> Somebody like, hell no, nah, that's leech energy. I'm not helping you no more. All you want to do is go party. You, you're not trying to get your life together for real. If this is like a family member, for some of y'all, you're going to realize that. Like, no, nah, fuck that shit. I'm not doing this for you no more. I'm not helping you no more. You ain't trying to do shit for real. You got me fucked up. You're not about to leech off me. While, while I'm actually doing the work, you're going out partying and shit. You're not trying to do no work. You're trying to go out and shake ass. And hop on, hop on dick and hop inside pussy instead of getting out here making shit happen for yourself. You want to come to me because you know my plate is full and my table is full because I actually did the fucking work and shit. But you want to come in and suck on my ass like, like a damn leech and shit instead of getting out here and doing for you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with having fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's like... When you got a, when you know you need money for shit, you got, you know, you fucked up. It's like, you should be, that time spent hanging out should be an overnight job that you should be punching in on or doing. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be out here partying and you know you got all that shit going on. Because you done partying, then you back to stress. You back trying to figure it out and all that other shit. So you might as well figure it out right right at hand instead of putting it off <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then you could party later once it's been figured out and everything is flowing you know what i mean ain't nothing wrong with having fun and going out but it's like you know you gotta get your priorities straight though okay <laughs> that's all i'm saying had on priorities in order ain't nobody perfect you know what i'm saying but it's like when you recognize it, it's like, okay, well, let me get that shit right, you know? That's all. Some do the love spell. You got Libra. Right leg and their thigh tattoos. You got sports. That fire sign of hater, Aries Lee or a Sag. Black socks could be significant. We got O. Water sign receiving bad karma, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have T. White liquor, clear liquor. You got married. You got flip flop lover. You got Pisces. Some of the leggings could be significant. You got condo. Black magic was put on your appearance. Black magic was put on your work. <laughs> you got fur coats. So whoever this person is, they could have talked about the way you look real bad. They could have talked about your work real bad. Like somebody could have really tried to make you look like something that you weren't. And this person, for some of y'all, they getting a backfire. They getting fucked up. Trying to make you look like something that you're not, yo. Trainer, trainee. Stay at home dad. Fake empress. A fake emperor. You got leggings. Huge decrease. That's what the fuck they get. That's what the fuck they get for doing dumb ass shit. X con. You. Mohawk. Gemini. White socks. A. K. That's crazy, huh? Somebody name could be Cat. Somebody name could be Cat. Like K A T. Okay, something to do with AT and T could be significant. Something to do with Take Five. Somebody could love Take Five. Something to do with a life path number four, or four could be significant. I heard Kia or Tia. Okay. Something to do with Kaya or Kyra. That's crazy, yo. 
Something to do with uh, Houston, Texas. I just heard. Okay. Any other messages, Spirit? I heard Marquita. Something to do with Marquita. All right, something with Iowa. Okay. All right, you guys. I really hope that these messages helped you. I heard something to do with tennis. Okay. Something to do with some kind of water park, I'm hearing. Okay. Something to do with Eugene or Ulysses. Okay. All right, you guys. I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in your situation. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.